Hello, hi. My name is uh, Zoltan Nagy. I'm a professor in chemical engineering in the Davidson School of Chemical Engineering at uh, Purdue University. Uh, I'm really glad to have the opportunity to talk at this conference. So thank you for the invitation. My research uh, interest is mainly in the area of process systems engineering, advanced process control, application to particle technology, pharmaceutical engineering, and uh, uh, many other fields. So the presentation that I'm going to deliver today is related to the application of process analytical technology based quality by control framework for the rapid design of pharmaceutical crystallization processes. The outline of my talk is given here. So I will briefly introduce uh, the platform that we are using for crystallization monitoring. Uh, that integrates a variety of uh, PAT tools and uh, integrates these into a process informatic system. Then I will show examples of model free direct design um, control uh, for crystal size distribution, purity, and shape. Uh, we'll talk about inline monitoring of crystal purity and additive based aspect ratio control. We'll talk about model predictive control of crystal size distribution with uh, real-time sensor models. And finally, we'll show some examples of the PAT-based design of continuous spherical agglomeration processes. So I would like first to thank to my uh, group. So this is the, uh, uh, these are the students who actually work on the uh, research that I'm presenting uh, here. So this is my group at uh, Purdue University and West Lafayette, Indiana. So this slide shows the overall structure of the uh, crystallization uh, product engineering uh, uh, framework where we use a variety of uh, PAT tools um, in a typical crystallization vessel. So we use focus beam reflectance measurement to uh, look uh, tools to look at in real time to the crystal images. Uh, spectroscopy tools such as ATO, uh, easy concentration or purity monitoring uh, platforms, and all these in information and uh, that we call the crystallization process informatic system, which provides an automated intelligent decision support and control platform where these informations are time feedback is provided to the crystallization process to change in real time the operating conditions. So this platform uh, enables uh, through the complementary and redundancy of this measurement to implement data reconciliation and robust control approaches, which will enable the implementation of a model B based and model free quality by control approach that can lead to the design of particles with tailor made properties. This platform can be equally applied for the design of batch crystallization systems or continuous crystallization platforms, whether we are talking about cascade of stirred uh, tank crystallizers or plug flow crystallization vessels. Uh, the entire platform is integrated in a user platform, uh, a user friendly platform, as it is shown, PAT tools in an integrated fashion. And uh, we can monitor the trajectory, selecting a variety of simple options for direct uh, implementation of feedback control approaches. So, this crystallization process informatic system, the CryPrince or CryMoco, uh, is a commercial platform and it's available. Uh, the license is available for easy, easy use and rapid design of crystallization platforms. This enables the complete, provides a complete picture about the crystallization process and enables. Uh, efficient quality by design imp implementation and introduces the, our novel concept of quality by control. An example of application of this platform to an industrial crystallization process is shown here. So we use the focus beam reflectance measurement to measure the number of particles or, a, or a, uh, to take a signal which is proportional with the number of particles and automatically tailoring the temperature profiles uh, to maintain the desired uh, temperature decreases 
nucleation happens, which significantly overshoots the desired number of counts, and then and as the counts go above again the set point process. If you look at the same operating trajectory in the phase diagram, this dissolves so the nucleation nucleations and multiple heat and cooling um, implementation in identifies the upper uh, operating zone of the crystallization. So we have the primary nucleation as well as a secondary nucleation curve and the third the, the, and generates very nice product crystals with uniform size distribution and uh, and um, uh, large particle size, which is much better compared to the traditional linear cooling uh, uh, product. An example to illustrate how this uh, method can be applied to the design of a crystallization process for a real uh, pharmaceutical compound uh, is shown here. So this was a typical case where uh, the crystallization for the cardiovascular drug uh, had to be designed. Uh, there was a critical problem with impurity in this case, and in particular with solvent uh, inclusions, because uh, the uh, uh, crystallization led to strongly agglomerated particles, which can lead to both uh, type 1 and type 2 inclusions. The type 1 in the solvent inclusion is uh, solvent in, included, uh, included in the uh, crystal lattice, and type 2 are those which are incorporated in the agglomerates uh, because of the strong agglomeration process in the system. In this particular case, we applied our direct nucleation control, which automatically identified when first uh, cooling created the nucleation trigger. Uh, several cycles were created to stabilize several cycles, and this led to much better product. We had much nicer particles with uh, uh, no agglomeration um, uh, and with uh, a subsequent uh, uh, um, improvement, we could also enhance the aspect ratio even further. So this is a very clear example that showed that the direct nucleation control could eliminate agglomeration, solvent inclusion, achieved better size uniformity and uh, produce better aspect ratio and purity by decreasing the development time from the typical two, three months that the quality by design and uh, design of experiment uh, based approach requires to only two, three days. We can also further develop the insulin uh, crystallization um, uh, uh, solution and analyzes the purity of the in a simple mass balance based uh, estimation. We can monitor the purity of the crystals inferentially. So if we look in this particular case, we had um, uh, a main product which uh, crystallized in the system, but simultaneously an impurity concentration was monitored, and we can see that that this decreases as well. So impurity also crystallizes uh, together with the main uh, API. And from these, by taking some samples of the solid phase, dissolving them and offline analyzing the purity of the crystals, we can see that those measurements are very nicely overlapped with the, our process. So. Um, with this uh, approach, we can practically implement a direct um, um, purity measurement of, uh, in a continuous crystallization of, uh, manner where we have the raw material uh, monitored continuously with uh, the UPRC, and then we can uh, identify and design an aspect ratio control algorithm where we can dose a compensating additive which can have uh, a positive effect on decreasing aspect ratio, and as the impurity concentration changes, we can, based on the model, uh, add appropriate compensating additive. Of course, since the model may not be perfect, we also need real-time aspect ratio uh, monitoring uh, to provide a feedback control um, the correction of the compensating additive, and with this approach, we can decrease aspect ratio from um, large needle-shaped uh, particles to practically uh, aspect ratio of one, much more um, um, uh, rounded and uh, better particles. If we look at now uh, how uh, this approach works, and uh, uh, you know when we have multiple batches without active impurity control, we can have large batch-to-batch -batch variation. Whereas when we implement our active impurity control, we can on one hand decrease significantly the mean aspect ratio of the product, and we have very good batch-to-batch uh, -batch, uh, consistency in this particular case. The same uh, PAT array based uh, crystallization design can be applied in the case of uh, continuous um, crystallization as well. So this just illustrates a case where we designed a continuous crystallization of atorvastatin, which is a high um, uh, volume um, product, uh, black flow crystallizer, where you connect multiple focus brim 
uh, various parts of the crystallization system we use image concentration monitoring so this is a combined crystallization where certain segments of the continuous crystallizer are cooled and we also add anti-solvent distributed along the crystallizer so this is a complex process with multiple control uh, inputs to uh, determine and using this um, methodology we can obtain the appropriate trajectory in the phase diagram which lead to uh, using this uh, in this particular case we can significantly produce uh, decrease the size distribution so this batch size distribution and the uh, advantage of the continuous platform is that also uh, increases 70 fold the productivity uh, for this particular system <clears throat> we can also combine the use of mathematical models with the, uh, the uh, uh, taking information from the PAT tools. So we, this illustrates an, a case where uh, real-time focus beam reference measurement and, and UVV uh, concentration measurements were uh, taken and combined together, uh, which then sends the set points to the crystallization process informatic system, which automatically determines the operating conditions in the crystallizer. Right. So in the previous cases, the um, CRIMOCO directly took a measurement and adopted the, the crystallization conditions. Now we also use the advantage of a mathematical model to do a prediction uh, of how the uh, changes in operating conditions will influence the critical quality attributes of the crystals and then solve an optimization problem based on the structure in the estimation problem to identify new kinetic parameters of the uh, mathematical model of the crystallization process and then solve a model predictive control problem where we try to um, find what is the optimum operating condition for the rest of the batch. So what is the optimal temperature profile, which will make sure that at the end, we obtain the desired cordland distribution or size distribution. Of course, in this case, because measurement is obtained from the uh, sensors and sensors are uh, uh, affected by some artifacts, particular cases just illustrate how real-time imaging needs to be uh, taken into account. The fact that in a three-dimensional uh, particle, uh, we actually only measure a two-dimensional projection of that. So we can have an artifact um, by measuring the two-dimensional projection image of that uh, particle and we can it shows how with this real-time optimization profile the product with the target coordinate distribution by uh, demonstrating this this way the benefit of a model based quality by control approach of course all these models are rather difficult to implement so we are providing a, um, a graphical user interface uh, which uh, uh, allows a very easy use of complex mathematical models. So this graphical, uh, this user-friendly graphical user interface and this modeling platform uh, that can be downloaded from this link allows for the users to uh, uh, do um, quick simulations uh, of crystallization processes, parameter estimation, as well as optimization and apply the uh, model-based digital design uh, very quickly and efficiently for uh, optimization and design of industrial crystallization platforms. The last application that I want to illustrate here is how we take now this idea further and design co fully continuous, uh, fully integrated crystallization uh, processes where we um, have uh, where uh, by a spatial addition of the anti-solvent or spatial uh, implementation of a cooling process by binder in certain parts of the crystallizer to free conglomerates shown here. So this is an excellent platform when the particles are needle shaped or plate shaped, they have difficult uh, shape, uh, which creates manufacturability uh, issues. And it can also facil facilitate the co-agglomeration of particles of the API particles with excipients and directly create formulated particles which can flow very well and can be directly um, used in capsules or can be applied directly very simply in direct uh, compaction. So this picture shows a, a practical implement um, where in the first part segment of the crystallizer we cool the temperature by implementing that direct nucleation control approach that I mentioned before so that the uh, size of the primary particles is controlled. Then we have a growth zone, then we cool and control the segments, and then we add the uh, binder to create the agglomerate. So you can see how from these uh, um, uh, needle-shaped particles, we create a, a nice vertical agglomerate. One example application that we uh, um, applied for uh, this uh, process identification approach was the spherical agglomeration of proteins. So this was the case of lysozyme, which typically is uh, obtained in batches. Uh, proteins uh, are well known that they grow very slowly. 
So, um, you know, for example, for this lysozyme, which is manufactured in, in large batch crystallization, large volume batch crystallization, um, typically the batch time is 21 hours to grow the particles large enough so that they can be filtered and isolated. What we did here in a continuous crystallization, we fully monitored with the imaging, real-time imaging. We can see how we compute the crystal size distribution from the images. The, um, and applying the spherical agglomeration approach, we just nucleated the particles. And then instead of waiting until they grow to a larger size, we applied the binder to agglomerate them in spherical agglomerates, as uh, uh, can be seen in these pictures. And this method reduced the uh, time to 20 minutes residence time and significantly in increased the uh, productivity of the system without changing the stability of the proteins. So with this, I'd like to summarize my presentation. Uh, there are many economic drivers for better control of the crystallization uh, process. And of course, there are a variety of academic uh, approaches and tools that are available for precisely design and control the solid product attributes. And I showed a number of methods which are implemented in, uh, in so uh, software toolboxes. So I showed the Climoco, which implements the quality by control model, free quality by control approach. And I showed the uh, CRI-SIF, which is a model-based uh, design and digital design uh, framework. Both are commercially available software platforms. Um, of course, the advanced in and novel institute and inline PAT tools um, enable these implementation of these novel approaches. Uh, and uh, also enables the use of uh, feedback control uh, techniques that enable a better implementation of uh, the quality by design approaches and also opens new opportunities for agile and robust manufacturing. And of course, continuous manufacturing uh, and the novel integrated uh, uh, processes, including the spherical crystallization, serve as innovative approaches for uh, process intensification. So with this, I would like to thanks for your um, attention and um, uh, wish you a, a, a nice and interesting conference. Thank you very much.